Okay, so we just um, finished our shooting. We got to the end of our roll of film, and when we took that last picture uh, and tried to wind it again to, to get to the next frame, it stopped like this, and we looked through our window, and it should be around the number 36. Sometimes you get a little bit extra film, sometimes maybe a little bit less. You do not want to wind it further at that point. If you do, you'll actually pull the film or break the film uh, in there and, uh, and, and ruin your film. If that does happen, you can always... Um, bring your camera into one of the light safe uh, film loading rooms in the dark room and uh, a monitor can help you get the film out without uh, destroying it but try to avoid having that happen and what you want to do to do it correctly is to remove your film um, by uh, pressing in on the little button on the bottom of the camera so we're going to go ahead and press that black button in that releases the film from the winding post and allows it to go back into the canister on the other side uh, so once you've pressed that little button in you can go ahead and flip up the, uh, the metal uh, winding knob over here and, uh, and, and go ahead and start to wind your film back and it goes in clockwise, there's a little arrow that should tell you how to do that. You're going to go ahead and wind it in and as you do that you'll hear the film going uh, across, coming across and going back into that canister. Do this for about 30 seconds and when you get to the end you'll hear it pop off of the winding uh, lever on the right, it gets a little harder to wind and there it is popped off the lever. We're going to go ahead and wind it all the way in a couple more turns and at that point we can go ahead and pull up and open the back of the camera. We do that, our film is now safely stored inside the light safe canister and we're ready to take it to the dark room to process the film.